Hey, what's up everybody? Travis here. A uh, long time no video. It's been incredibly busy and I could probably make um, two videos in themselves trying to explain all the things that have been going on in life recently, but I'll try to just give the short version. Uh, my wife has been in Canada a lot of the summer. She's back now and uh, we've done some traveling since then to see family and things like that and she's been sick with bronchitis and pneumonia the last week, which has not been fun for her uh, by any means, so that's kept me busy too. And then, of course, um, my ongoing uh, efforts to finish up my uh, PhD at school has been uh, consuming much of my life, and will do that for the rest of the semester. Um, on top of working on my thesis, I'm also uh, going to be team teaching a course, so I'm officially an instructor uh, for that course, but anyway, this video is not meant to give uh, long details about all the things I'm doing. Instead, I wanted to just say hi, give that quick update, and show you a little pipe tip that I have um, stumbled across and then implemented in one of my pipes. So a lot of you guys um, share my passion of finding estate pipes and are on a budget, so you find estate pipes on eBay that you can either um, are a little bit uh, lesser known brands or, or not that high I shouldn't say high quality, I mean they're they're still high quality but they're just not the real expensive brands. Um, or they're older or need a little bit of work and you work on them and uh, kind of put your own sweat and blood into them and, and kind of make them your own. And I had one of those pipes recently uh, it is this K. Woody which I'll show here it's a K. Woody Bulldog Sorry, the lighting's not great, but it has this nice diamond shank. It is a 500 series, which I believe is from probably the 1950s or 60s, so it's a pretty old pipe. Smoked it a couple times, it smokes really nice, uh, no complaints at all from it. Um, it's kind of this, it's almost like a deep brown maybe with a hint of red stain on it. It's just, it's really pretty. Uh, the top of the pipe, uh, you definitely cannot tell at all. This is not doing it any justice, so I'll stop trying. Uh, but it's definitely had to be sanded and refinished a little bit uh, to try to get off rim charring. The person who's cleaned it up before has done that. But when I got the pipe, I'll try to show you... Well, first of all, this this is a pipe that has uh, the stinger, or used to have a stinger, what it has now uh, is basically the stinger threading and they've cut the stinger off, so if you can see. Um, so there's no stinger left there anymore, but it still needs that threading on it so it can, can connect to the shank, uh, which is what this pipe has. And I'll tell you that when I first got this pipe, uh, the way that it looked was that the shank and the... <coughs> Uh, stem were off center, so I don't know if you can tell that. Uh, hopefully, you can uh, with the lighting, but it just did not line up correctly. With a diamond shank, you can easily tell that, and with a uh, sometimes if the shank is just round, you, you may not be able to tell except at the end where the bit is, where it's not quite straight. So, this is a little bit different, uh, but I found out uh, the problem or a way to fix this problem is that. Uh, the stem was turning too far, so it was going past the point that it should have. So what I did was took a little piece of masking tape, again, don't know if you can really tell that, but a little piece of masking tape placed it over the end of the shank, and what that does is create just a little bit of space so that when you thread this together, instead of going too far, it actually stops right on the point where it should. So again, yeah, don't know how well this is going to show up, but now it's it just sits perfectly in the spacing. It's un, you're unable to tell that there's any kind of gap, which is great. So uh, if you have <coughs> any kind of problems with pipes that have threaded stems that are estate pipes, or maybe your own pipes that just don't sit correctly anymore, um, and if they go too far, this is one way to fix it: is put the piece of masking tape on the end poke a hole through it, then put your thread back in, twist it, 
and it should line up just right. If it doesn't line up just right, you may need um, an additional piece of masking tape or maybe a thinner piece of tape and maybe masking tape is too thick. So try that out. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing great. I'm really enjoying watching the videos. I just haven't had any time to comment. Um, I'm going to try to return comments. I want to get into it again. Um, but it's, it's just so many other things in life are taking up time. But anyway, I appreciate all the videos and uh, hope wanted to let you guys know I'm still a part of things and at least still watching. Just haven't been able to be real active. So until next time, um, we'll see you guys later.